and welcome to Tea Leaves Programming. Today we're programming like it's 1979. Very quick episode today to give you an update on OneWare Studio and also to tell you about yet another Mac-based FPGA IDE. Um, I was messing with OneWare Studio, as I mentioned. Uh, I got kind of sucked into making the, the JSON list necessary to make an image of the board for the Nanland Go board, uh, since that was the board that I have physically. Looks very much like what you see on screen there. And well, it turns out that OneWare Studio has a pretty modular system for plugging in support you've developed to the project as a whole. So I visited the developers on their Discord, submitted a pull request, and now if you have a Nanland Go board, you can now use OneWare Studio, uh, use the pin planner, and have that graphical view. So enjoy. Are many people buying Nanland Go boards in 2025? I want to say it was launched back in 2015. Let me look. Yeah, 2015, 2016, most of the YouTube videos on it are from nine years ago or so, but I found it to be an interesting and easy way to get introduced, so now you can do it too. The other thing that happened is someone on Reddit said, hey, have you seen the Goin EDA, the Goin IDE? I said, no, what's Goin? Well, Goin is a Chinese company that makes FPGAs, not as well known as Xilinx or Altera or Lattice, uh, but they sell FPGA chips. And in particular, there's a board that uses these chips, a few boards that use these chips. The one that was mentioned to me is the Sipede or Sipede, S-I-P-E-E-D, Tang Nano. Let me bring up a picture of it. You can see there it's a very tiny board. It's got USB. It's got interfaces as HDMI on the other side. I think it has two PMOD connectors. And I've seen a few projects having to do with using this board as kind of uh, the center of an emulation station. So there is some support for it. The Goin IDE runs natively on Mac, also of course, Windows and Linux. It supports everything you'd think it does. Now I should say I have not tried to use this to actually program a board because I don't have one of those CPED FPGAs yet, but maybe I will pick one up and play with it. I especially enjoyed, uh, you know, it's a standard feature of these IDEs, being able to see the gate level synthesis uh, so you could see what loots and uh, um, circuits are being created uh, as a result of your synthesis. So this is yet another option for developing on Mac. And I feel, I know I'm getting on a soapbox here, but the lesson here to me is, especially when it comes to doing things that are unusual with your machines, don't take no for an answer. You shouldn't let the tail wag the dog. If you have a need for a certain spec of hardware, of course you shouldn't let the computer you'd like to use dictate the needs of that project. But if you're doing this for yourself, don't take no for an answer. If you're, you're out there using NetBSD and, and you want to use, uh, you want to find tools that work on it, you know, I bet there's an open source suite that would work on that too. Um, some channel maintenance notes. There may be a couple of weeks off while I take care of some business, but I'm not done pulling the string on this FPGA stuff. So um, this one was short. I wanted to just let you know about Goen FPGA Designer. There are commercial products that they sell, commercial IDEs. The ones you want, probably, uh, if you're like me, are the educational packages, which are free to download and use. And if you have more experience with the Goen IDE than I do, which should be pretty easy because I have almost none, please leave a comment down below and tell us about it. Is there some reason that this isn't in widespread use and everyone in the world knows about it? I made videos about this for three weeks before someone said, uh, yeah, the Goen uh, IDE is native on Mac. 
uh, I'd like to know. So please, you know, join the conversation and let us know. This is Tea Leaves Programming. We're programming like it's 1979. Thanks for watching.